Good morning everyone. It's a Monday, Monday Motivation. Coming to you all the way from Tokyo in Japan. I didn't tell you last week your Monday Motivation came all the way from the UAE in Dubai. You know the place that many of you people love. You love going to. Some say Dubai is a place, they have negative connotation of Dubai, which I don't believe. Dubai is an economic hub of the world. So if you really want to get inspired, go to Dubai. Now, I got inspired while I'm still here in Japan. As you can see, this is, I'm here at Soka University. So I got inspired. While I'm inspired, I thought, let me talk to you South Africans about this inspiration that I just received here in Japan. So I decided to take a walk because it's very hot and it's not sweating. Now, my Monday motivation is not long today. What I would like to talk to you guys about is something that is so sacred. Cleanliness. Cleanliness. Why am I talking about cleanliness? This is one thing that has inspired me about Japan. I came here, I have never, not I have never, but the country, it is so clean. One distinct feature about Japan is the cleanliness. Here's the thing about it as well, very interesting. If you walk around in the streets, Japan does not have trash cans, meaning that you cannot even throw your trash. Look at me, I got trash in my hand. I can't even throw trash anyway because it doesn't have trash cans in the streets. Now, the question is, why is it so clean but there are no trash cans? So what do people do? Where do they throw their trash? Now, let me tell you something very interesting. It's been said that there are no trash cans, but it is law that you keep the streets clean and they are clean. And the Japanese have got a culture. They do not go around and mess their streets with trash like most of us do in our countries. Hmm, this is interesting. So where does this fit in or where, does, where do you come in where this is concerned? I'm going to tell you now. Cleanliness is close to God. A lot of our ladies and mothers are very, very clean and they will tell you when it comes to cleanliness, they do not play. They will always tell you cleanliness is close to God. So being clean actually makes you godly. That's why we need to clean up. We need to clean up ourselves. We need to clean up our minds, our psychologies, our bodies. And it goes as far as cleaning up our streets, like it's happening here in Japan. All right. So now, <laughs> when I'm talking, somebody will just thinking about oh, yeah, cleanliness. I can get into the shower. I can get into the bar. Into the bar. That's not what I'm talking about. The cleanliness that I'd like to refer to is the cleanliness that is very, very important. We tend to pollute, to dirty, to clutter ourselves with a lot of things and we don't clean ourselves where that is concerned. You get somebody who is so clean, beautiful, well-dressed, everything is clean, but they walk around with dirty, so much dirtiness, so much clutter in their heads, in their hearts. And you ask yourself, how can you be this beautiful, but your thinking is so screwed up, if I may put it that way. Let me be straightforward. You know how to clean up your body, but you don't know how to clean up your mind. We think things that are not even true, things that destroy us, that destroy our self-esteem, and you don't get to clean up your mind with all that clutter, so that, oh yeah, so that I'm sweating. You cannot clean up your mind, clean up all that clutter, so that you have a clean mind. You know, when you look at some, some of the things and somebody says, you have a dirty mind, you have a dirty mind. No, get out of the gutter, you've got a dirty mind. That's what I'm talking about. How can you be so clean and wear such expensive, clean, beautiful clothes, but you cannot clean up the negative thoughts in your head? Those negative thoughts that you know are drowning your life is because oh, they are dirty basically. Why don't you clean up your mind? It is a necessity to actually clean up your mind the same way you clean up your body. I don't know if you've ever thought of this. It is a shame for somebody walking around dressed up so well, but they, they've got these dirty thoughts in their, in their minds that are drowning them, that are holding them back. 
I'm going to mention a few of them. Now let's make a few examples of this dirty sauce. How on earth do you go around and use words like money is the root of all evil but you say you want to have money? Don't you think those thoughts need some cleanup? Some cleaning. You clean up those thoughts and get the true reflection and positive truth about money before you can have money because money from i think money goes to people who respect it i don't know an individual who has money and who uses those words okay maybe that's something that is still controversial how do you go around and say men are dogs and you say you want to have a decent man in your life how do you go around and say women are evil and yet you want to have a woman to be your partner to walk the path of life with you to raise kids with you to be somebody who is there by your side and you call them evil these are kind of thoughts that you think women are evil you think men are dogs and then you get into relationships and they don't work out because of thoughts like this you first need to clean up this kind of thoughts before before you get to have these people that you want to have and enjoy the benefits that you can have the benefits of money the benefits of a man of a woman you cannot have those benefits if you think in the way you are thinking that is why you may have them temporarily that's why they don't last that's why people who think about this where money is concerned they don't have the money all right how can you think education is useless and then you wish to prosper through education or you wish to to prosper by you know, by knowledge, knowing certain things, but you call education useless. How on earth do you become a parent if you look at children and say children are bad, they are useless, they are expensive, they are all that. Here's the thing. You can still get into a relationship, but let's be honest. If you are that negative about it, do you get to really enjoy it? Do you get to get the positive effects of relationship? Do you get to have positive effects of parenting if that's what you are thinking think about it you can use it anywhere everywhere you like get answers and ask yourself what do i need to clean up people who say level life will tell you you know go clean up detox before you go to gym you know you're not going to eat you want to go there with your empty stomach because there is absolutely no way that you are going to go there with your full stomach and then you start dreaming because what is going to happen? You'll start vomiting. That is not how it works. You must clean up. Clean up your colon. Okay. You know, in the past, a lot of people are old people. They used to take your castor oil, mohalagane, uh, what do you call it? Brook lux. Clean up. Detox. The most, I think two most important places, actually three holistically. Clean up your head. Walk around with a head that has got clean thoughts, positive thoughts of the way things are, the way God made them. Just get the real truth and adopt the real truth and believe and think the real truth in your head because that is what is going to influence you. Clean up your spirituality. What you put in, the, in there, we are fighting things in this world. Things that are beyond us. We're fighting powers that we don't even know exist. That is why your spirit and the best way to clean it up. If you believe in prayer, you need to pray. Have you seen how Muslims, how disciplined they are when it comes to pray? Pray. If you have to, if you are traditional, you don't pray. Do what you need to do for your spirit. And nobody should judge you. All right. And also physically, very, very important to health is well. You need to detox. You need to clean up physically so that at least you've got physical health. BMI, that is normal. Body mass index. It shouldn't be under, it shouldn't be over, it should be normal. So you can be healthy. So you want to be healthy? Please clean up it is life this is how it's designed it has to be like that okay so my people instead of me recommending the book how about i give you a break from reading 
go on YouTube, take YouTube videos and just check. Be specific. Go to clean streets of Japan or how, to, how clean is Japan. And then just check on YouTube. Check the last. Check how do how did they get to get this right. And I hope this helps you. Japan streets are clean. Just like we should clean up our bodies. Good example, something I've learned. And that's my message to you for Monday Motivation. I love you all the way from Japan. Konnichiwa, my people. Enjoy your Monday. Dr. TP.